Pastor Daniel at Living Savior in Littleton, Colorado. One of the things we say around here at Living Savior is at Easter time, we say, He lives, we live. It's on the wall behind me here in the little slogan you can see. Um, and we have a painting that we've put up right next to it that calls attention to the Easter season. It's one of Jesus' you know, resurrection appearances to his disciples. I think this is so awesome and such an amazing statement to anybody who comes to worship here about what Christianity is all about. This is a painting by an Italian artist named Caravaggio. And around 1600, he put this together depicting, you know, Doubting Thomas and this intimate moment that he had with the other disciples as Jesus appeared to them and showed himself alive to them. And maybe you remember the drama of the words, you know, that Jesus used for him. You know, hey, Thomas, hey, Thomas, stop doubting and believe. I, I want you to put your fingers here, right? See the nail marks in my hands, put your fingers in, put your hand in my side, like he was encouraging Thomas to do these things. And one of the things that this artist is known for is his use of light. And when you look at this painting, I think you could just spend so much time soaking in what it means for you and what Christianity is really all about. What does it say to us about the Savior's message in this world, the Savior's power that's at work? And when I look at the way he used light here, I see how it's sitting all over Jesus' shoulders, right? Um, it's, it's Jesus in this poised position, this calm and peace, and it's not like he's about to feel an ouch with a finger stuck underneath his skin. Um, Jesus with a glorified body, a real Jesus, a touch me, feel me, see me again, Jesus, that gives us the confidence to know that the power of his resurrected life is really ours. And I think of all those ways in our own lives when we fall short of kind of that brilliant living hope that brought into the light, bursting out with shining faith, hope in the resurrection as we wallow in you know, despair or doubt or conflict and sin. Jesus is the one who's calling us out of the darkness. One of the centerpieces of this painting is what's happening with their hands. And the horizontal line of the picture here from, from his elbow and extending across, you can see this is Jesus' hand here that's taken a hold of Thomas and is actually pushing this to happen. I, I want this to happen. And I think of what God's word is in the world for you and for me is, is this joyous, eager God to spill all of his good blessings into our laps. Jesus wants this. I want you to know what my life is for you. I want you to know the power of my victory over death for you. You have to explore it. You have to go there. Your finger has to go into my side. He's grabbing Thomas by the hand and he's driving it in to the evidence of resurrection life. That is so precious to us. I love how all the disciples are kind of coming out. You see the spotlight on their faces and the astonishment is this calm Jesus invites them to the surprise, invites them to the excitement of what Christianity is all about. I also noticed a couple things as Jesus is doing this for them as they needed it. And you and I do too. And how do I know? The artist put a little tear in his shoulder. And I, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's obvious dirt underneath his fingernails. These disciples had been hiding. They had been hiding since... Easter day, not rejoicing, but hiding, cowering away, not taking good care of themselves because they were all out of sorts. They were all messed up. What was life? What was their purpose if Jesus was just a dead wannabe savior? What were they to do with themselves? And Thomas now with the other disciples was being put back together. The other disciples and Thomas are given a hope that would never disappoint them ever again. And that's the same thing for us. I hope you see in this picture an invitation to your everyday worship of a living God who crowns all of our darkness with his light, 
who calls us out of every last shadowy place into the brilliant, confident, joyous peace that is ours for his sake with God. You can't say enough. Um, pictures say a thousand words, right? Well, do your best. I don't know if I spoke a thousand in this video, but do your best to share with others. If it takes a thousand words or just a picture on a wall to highlight for them everything living Savior, a living Savior, really means for us. He lives. We live. Amen to that.